Just checking my tea for lipstick, we're good. Let's go, let's do this, let's roll. Hey beauts, Fanny Ann here. And today's vlog is all gonna be about tall girls and the problems that we face. It's gonna be the pros and cons about being tall as a girl. I mean, I'm five foot 10, so I'm not, you know, the tallest of girls. I'm not massive, but I'm still pretty tall for a girl. So first off, we're gonna start with the cons. If I buy a dress or a skirt, um, I look like a slut. Not because I pulled it right up, it's because my legs are so long it looks like I'm purposely trying to show my ass off to everyone. It's really difficult for me to buy a dress, and if you buy a maxi dress, none of them touch the floor when you're tall. Sitting comfortably in the bath. Because my legs are so long, it takes me a really long time to shave in the bath or a shower, and it's really awkward as well in the bath. I have to proper like hold my leg up and like it just, it, you know what, it's a burden. It's a burden shaving. But I only ever have to shave if I wear, you know, a dress and stuff out, but that doesn't happen a lot because, like I said, they're too short for me and I look like a slut in them, so. Razor's supposed to last for quite a while, but after like one use with my legs, I might as well just chuck them away. It's really fucking annoying. When you uh, stretch, you usually smack whatever's above you, be it a light or the ceiling. So you usually hit your hand on something if you stretch straight upright. Because you just your limbs are like fucking giraffe limbs. You have to kind of stretch within your body. You have to watch out for low tree branches or just any sort of tree branch because there's been a few that I've smacked into or I've knocked my hat off. You know what? It's not fun getting a face full of bark. I have never been able to cross my legs under a table or under a desk ever. I have to push my chair out and then cross my legs and then everyone can see my legs. Slut again. If you're not quick enough to shotgun a car, you then have to sit in the back of a car. Unless you're tall, you have no idea the problems of sitting in the back of a car and getting in and out. You look like a freaking idiot trying to get in and out of a car when you're tall. You will guarantee smack your head or get caught between the seat and the door trying to get out. There is no space, especially if it's a three-door car, there is no space for a tall girl. And I get really pissed off if some short person shotguns it before I do, because I'm like, you have to sit in it because you've got a shotgun, but you're a fucking bitch. We obviously go for taller men. I won't go for anyone who's shorter than me, so I'll go for five foot ten and up. Even five foot ten is a push, but um, we always go for like six foot. Six foot's great. But they um, tall guys love tall, love um, short girls, so great. I mean, there is don't be wrong. There's a rare rare few that do like a tall girl, but they usually like the fact that their girlfriend is shorter than them. So yeah. When you hug a shorter person, you are literally hugging their neck. You are basically strangling your shorter friend or anyone else who's shorter than you because that's where your arms reach. They get a pure face to boob hug. They get full tit in their face. You pretty much get motivated by anyone shorter than you if you hug them because you'll either strangle them to death or it'll be really inappropriate. I hate when people go to me, how's the weather up there? It's exactly the same where you are. The climate doesn't change two inches above you. I'm not on Everest, you know, the air's not thinner up here, I can breathe, I'm fine, don't worry. Why are you asking me what the weather's like? This killed me, I read up this one. <laughs> the first thing you do after you gain a new celebrity crush is you Google their height. <laughs> because they're usually like 5 foot 10 or below and you're like, well, Benedict Cumberbatch, he's fine. He's fine. He's all good. He is a good height. And then there's people, I used to fancy Elijah Wood, he's short. When you want to look at yourself in a full length mirror, you either have to stand at least 10 foot back to see your whole outfit or bend down a little bit. But then you, you crush all your outfits so it's a little bit pointless. But yeah, you can never see a full outfit up close in a mirror if you're tall. I wish they'd accommodate, you know, mirrors in your homes. They should have a whole tall home that isn't expensive that I can live in and all the walls will be mirrors. I absolutely, oh my god, this one fucks me off. When people go, <laughs> when I meet someone they go, wow, you're tall. Like I didn't fucking know. Like I didn't know that I was tall. Like I've lived my whole life being a tall girl. I didn't fucking know until you just told me. Thank you for letting me know. Thank you for informing me of my height. You're tall. Yeah, well, suck a dick. Another thing, um, do you play basketball or volleyball or some sort of ball related activity? No, I, PE wasn't a thing for me. I sat on the floor in PE. So no, I don't play basketball. I probably could. I probably could train and be in the WNBA. But who actually likes that? Every time I watch Family Guy or any sort of programme, they take the piss out of it. So who wants to be in it? Not me. When you see a boy 
carrying their girlfriend like on their back or like carrying him like a baby, you think that will never be me. It just won't happen. You think to yourself, holy shit, if there's a fire in my house, I'm not going to get rescued. No fireman is going to want to put me over his shoulder. I'm going to burn to death. When you're talking to a, like say if you're talking to someone online or something, and, like a boy, and you're like, how tall are you? And they, they type five. Before they've even finished typing the rest of it, you're like, oh, five. Mm, I'm just going to, just going to go. The first time that you hug a taller person, like a taller guy, and they have their like arms around your neck. You just never want to let go because you think, I'm never going to feel this again. I'm never going to experience what it's like to hug someone taller than me. I'm never letting go of this human. When someone's taller than you next to you, you're like, yes, I feel so normal. I'm so happy right now. Heels are just not a thing. Heels are not a thing for me. I own one pair of heels, I'm like a fucking Amazon woman, I'm like Wonder Woman. I mean, that's pretty cool, it's a bit like Wonder Woman, but she's, she's an Amazon, and she's tall as fuck. No Christian Louboutins for me. I'd never wear them. I'd buy them, they'd be so pretty, and I'd use them as, like, bookends. Uh, people will magically use you as a fucking ladder or a crane. Can you get that for me? I can, but why do I have to get it for you? Why do I have to reach up the top of your shelf to get your Tupperware dish down? Every job I've gone to, it's usually being kind of retail jobs that have windows and I've always turned out to be the designated window cleaner because I can reach the top corners of the windows. I don't want to have to scrub the shit off your windows just because I've got a little bit extra feet than you. Hire a window cleaner. They have ladders. When you see a tall girl, you both kind of become friends with each other. Um, you kind of just, you clock each other's eyes and you're like, we know the pain. I know that you know the pain that I know. We know each other's pain. Let's share the pain together. It's hard. Be friends with me. We'll be tall together and intimidate everyone. I never like telling people my weight, but if I tell someone my weight, they never take into consideration the height weight ratio. They'll just assume she's a bit big. I'm like, yeah, but it, with my height, it's not that bad. Like, it's not, really. I mean, I, I'm not great. But I'm not telling people my weight. When I get like hit on by short men, they look at me like I'm a fucking mountain to climb. Don't. Don't look at me down there like you're gonna plant a flag on my hat. She's so tall. I will conquer this fucking mountain. No, you won't. They look at me like I'm Everest. Like they can defeat that mountain and get to the top of it. You automatically walk quicker than everyone else because your step is longer. So when you're out with shorter friends or, you know, shorter people, you step quicker because your legs are longer and you have to slow your pace down and it's really annoying walking with people because I'm like come on hurry up and they're like running to catch up with me <laughs> like even though I don't wear heels people go to me can you even wear heels yeah I just put them on my fucking feet and then I'm wearing them doesn't mean I go outside but I'm still wearing them pros to being a tall girl tall girls are sexy as fuck mm -hmm.